what is up visionaries welcome back to my channel and if you guys are new here welcome and today let's react to another episode of global all-stars episode number nine but first you guys know in each and every reaction i pick a comment from last reaction and the comment that i chose today is seven out of ten wins so far have been to rule girls the non-native english speaking contestants don't have a chance with the rigging and the guest judging been eight out of ten english speaking too nelly low key high key could have won the last two episodes so she's the one i'm rooting for thank you so much for that comment babe let me know what do you guys think about this episode down in the comment section below and also let me know if you guys are loving the season or not <laughs> because baby <laughs> You know what? I think I want to... <laughs> the comments of this season have been quite interesting and hysterical and very telling. I'm low-key thinking about making a just a whole dedicated video to your guys' comments and what you guys think about All Stars at the end of this season or right before or, you know, like, yeah, right after the finale or before the finale. I don't know which one, but this, this video, I'm going to see if the comments... Get a, if I get a whole lot of comments that are quite interesting, I'm going to definitely try to make a video of that because that is so I literally scrolling in my phone, responding to you guys's comments and reading them and just key cackling at your guys's comments from this season because you guys are just fed up. <laughs> you guys are just fed up. But um, but yeah, you guys, I love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, you guys, my birthday is on October 14th. So if you guys want to send a nice little birthday gift, um, you guys can just sign up to my Patreon. It's going to be a win-win situation. You guys get full reactions plus stuff that's not even on my YouTube. On my YouTube. That's going to be on my Patreon. All the untucked episodes for every franchise are going to be exclusively on there. Plus some shows that are not even that I don't even post on to YouTube and other miscellaneous things. So you guys uh, make sure you guys click the diamond tier to unlock all of my videos. Please give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell and share this video on all your social media platforms. And if you guys do not want to sign up for my Patreon, my Amazon wish list is going to be up down in the description. So make sure you guys check that out and without further ado you guys let's get ready for another rocky episode of global all stars because <laughs> baby i don't know at this point at this point i'm just like okay i'm just i'm just riding the wave i'm just really really riding the wave of this season because i'm like girl i already fell off the ship i sunk I got beaten up by dolphins. I got, girl, I, I got pulled down by octopuses. Girl, I'm barely struggling, trying to breathe right now watching this season because I don't know. I don't know. The, we'll talk about that later. Let's see how this episode goes. Episode number nine. Here we go. Completely changed the weather. She's a threat now, girl. How are you feeling? No, 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 can we talk about the top two? We understood what happened with the lip sync. We need to know about the top two. And let's see if the girls really share, tell their feelings about that situation. This is mom's old jacket. <gasps> I was oh not doing God. this lip sync for saving my Love spot that. in the competition. I was doing it for my mom. But this is what I do. If you put on a song, I want to give you a show oh baby and i'm still that's here that's right vanity of being here get those bookings baby three wins me and queen are killing it nelly i know you were <laughs> side note you guys this is all miss vicky's doing by the way miss vicky set up this whole season so if you guys want to cuss anybody out talk to miss vicky because that's the you play a dirty game miss vicky you play a dirty 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 game me it's a lot now. So sorry. No, that yeah. I'm oh. happy. I'm really happy for baby. you. And you are still here. And I'm starting to like you. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you guys are warming up to her after you guys beat her down the road for the whole season. But damn. Who knows anymore? Anyone could go. Yeah. Anyone could have a bad week. Fair game, girl. I, I mean, of course you can't tell because you know Rue wants y'all to win. So, girl, okay. Work out tonight just proved you've got to be prepared for anything, or you just got to be into it with Marissa Rue in production. 
and Miss Vicky. You were just like, yeah. so focused. Oh, is it shut up and drive, thing? No. Uh-uh. Not at all. No. Not even close to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, let, let's just be real. It wasn't. Hey, baby. Get your leg up since you called me old today. Let's see how high your leg goes, girl. Oh. Where are you at, Mrs. Thing, Miss Sexy Oh, woman? Nelly, let's yeah, see what you me. got. Uh, I've got my eye on Melania. She's a shady cow. She pays this. Is she? <laughs> yeah, okay. Low key, the girls are figuring you out, Miss Nelly. The girls are saying that you're a styling killer girl. Oh, Nelly farted. Oh. <laughs> no. Not the sound effects. The sound effects. Y'all tried that production. Miss Vicky, you're up to no good still. You're still up to no good for episode number nine. You, st you, you told me that you was going to stop. These sound effects this production is doing is shady. But not that I'm a dancer. I believe that, Nelly. So, my baby. I believe that, Nelly. The my granny? <laughs> uh, I like it. They're having fun. They're having they're having fun, y'all. Everyone calm down. Relax. Put your pitchforks down. Whoever side you're on, they just playing around, okay? They just playing around. It's called drag banter. So shocked that Pythia went last week, but low key, I'm kinda living because all oh, the better for me. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. You're right. Is this the top six everyone thought it was going to be? No. no. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> oh my god. Did you guys think this would be the top six? Let's play. Who is she? <laughs> we'll see how these girls do. This queen will steal your boyfriend. Ooh. Who is she? Tessa. Nalania! I would not that I would not have thought no Melania. This queen makes you laugh the hardest. Oh, Everyone voted I'm... Kitty Scott Claus. Except for Kitty Scott Claus. So everyone Ow. gets a point except I don't know who I would have voted because there's several Scott funny Claus. queens on. This queen is the prettiest. Oh, um Vanity Vane. Alyssa Edwards yes. is the prettiest. Facts are okay, facts, girl. America. So Facts are facts America. <laughs> This queen is the messiest. Yeah, the Tessa. The messiest queen is Tessa T. No, she's not. Yeah. This queen is the shadiest. Who is she? Nelly. The girl gonna say Nelly. Three people chose Nelania, while three people <laughs> chose Queen Nelly's Claire. reaction. <laughs> oh. Everybody gets a point because it's a tie. Okay. This queen is going home next. Tessa. Tessa testicle. Q. <laughs> the winner of today's mini challenge is Queen Kong. Queen Kong. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> You'll be doing makeovers on some truly deserving individuals. Your eliminated global oh, no. all star. Oh, sister. okay. So it's eliminated queens. Okay. It was a no brainer. I was like, listen, like, who do you want? Tell her. <laughs> exactly. So I was like, like yeah, that, that was, he yeah, definitely was did it quick. I to go like high fashion. I wanted yep. to go elegant. Like, mm -hmm. it was like very like Chaparelli. Yeah. Chaparelli, you know, like Beyonce. Oh, yes. Chaparelli. Like, when you turn the yeah. Uh, this is a big challenge for me. Uh -huh. Can the House of Edwards get a win this episode? That's the question. With, hey, girl. Like, biker jackets and uh, thongs. Oh, I love thongs. Oh, that's right up Gala's alley, <laughs> girl. She loves all that. And you have to wear pads. Okay. That's I that. She's like, okay, girl, I guess. I get to get up there on stage and do my shit in front of the world's biggest drag queen on the biggest show in the world. And like, she honestly made with... me know it this season, though. Oh, Let's just be, can, I'm going to be honest, that, she I'm did. Sorry. The sewing challenge. Okay. I was in full ostrich. I had Alyssa's material. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. The majority voted for me, which I think was a little upsetting. Okay. But, but you're not here to prove them. Don't exactly. let them get. Don't let them get to you, girl. Upsetting. Right, Ace. This is the right mentality, Ace. Blonde and. Oh snatched. wow! Really? Ooh. Oh, we can put some. Big old She's gonna be an experience for you, girl. Oh, have you ever done like cute before? 
I did miss you a lot, and I want you out of all of these to make it to the end because they're shady. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, a Sailor Moon glamour, but also a goddess. Oh, I love it. So me. Yeah. I love a Sailor Moon situation, girl. Nelly, this might be your win, girl. I've got the minister. Did y'all catch this filter here. over the screen yeah. with them on Ms. screen? Raven, okay. He, is, he would be the one most likely to go home. There was a energy shift in your body what was going through your head oh yeah she definitely upset. switched you were <sighs> betrayed by the group but you know a wise lady once they had said, to pick one girl though. about you you are so unique and so hungry and we we love that hearing from the rupaul that I yeah am this is just like validation just for her you can see it and you can feel it through the screen and i'm glad she kind of got this moment this is probably what she really needed throughout the season like, I think she could honestly leave today and then be fine. Just for hearing Rue say that. Have you ever done the kind of drag that Kitty Scott Claus does? No, I never went to basic. basic, but... <laughs> no, <of> right? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> to be ugly. Oh, never oh, been. Okay. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Yes. Gonna win again. Yes. Gonna win. <laughs> All right. Yeah, basically, she Drew said, "Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. I will give you this win that you did not deserve <laughs> again." Rupaul, listen to me. Okay. Maybe can be my first win in this competition. <laughs> She's like, "Reason with me, girl. Give me something." <laughs> no, I want to be shocked and surprised. Oh, you will be. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh no, oh, he will be. Pythia, this isn't possible, but I think you might be in the lip sync. <laughs> oh my god, they are tr totally mm -hmm. messing with her right now. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, she do look oh, good. She look good, uh... baby. She's painted, darling. I feel them. Like... Well, they are. <laughs> Girl, she's painting herself. She's painting Gala like she is a Caucasian woman, honey. That is not. She needs a little color, honey. A little bronzer. Oh my god. Oh no. Girl, you have to paint yourself too. Come on. <gasps> I think they're trying to set it up like that. They go, we gonna think Nelly don't have enough time and it's rushed and they don't know what they're doing and then she does good. Okay, Miss Rue, I like this whole look. This looks real good. They gotta be part of the same family. Let's see how, let's see how this goes. Drag family resemblance. Now. That looks good. That looks good. Honestly, I... I like, I like Miss Pernini's outfit better than I like Miss Queen Kong. Let's just be honest. I mean, it's okay. I felt like Miss Pernini is actually trying to keep up with Queen Kong, but the way they're selling it is okay. It's, it's okay. Um, the outfits are nice. They're okay. I do like I said Pernini's better, but it is what it is. Oh, and I didn't like that corset piece that Queen Kong had on. Like the black leather threw me. Yes, Miss Alyssa. This looks good. I like this. Fam drag family resemblance. They look like they're part of the same family for sure. I like the color blocking situation. I like the black and yellow. The hair, the mugs, the ensembles, the boas, all of that. I like it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Older sister, younger sister. That's cute. I mean, they're, they're selling it really cutesy. Um, their ensembles are a very basic, very, very, very basic. Honestly, you can go to a department store and get this right now as we speak. I, I think the thing that, that works for them for this is that it is family resemblance. It, I like the color scheme. Um, I like how it fits because it's universally fits everybody. So it makes them look great. And honestly, the way they sold it was, was cute. They had a whole theme. They had a whole skit and spew of stuff. So it was, it was okay. But the look not my it, it failed for me for the look oh 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 my oh my god nahelia over nahelia over femme queen finger to this look at this you guys this is amazing i want both of those ensembles that blue though that blue oh my god that looks amazing drag family resemblance they look like they were part of the same family it's a yin and yang thing this is um their bodies look great that coat was amazing the headpiece was right the mugs were on everything they did on the on the runway was 
so good and then with a the banter back and forth oh she might win this you guys okay she better sell it like the doll that's right oh that's so cute yes tessa you sh the way they're selling it is so good I, I, but i will say this the drag family resemblance to me it's not getting that it's giving me the the doctor professor versus the patient you know i don't feel like they're like related you know what i'm saying i felt like they're best friends if anything that's unfortunate because the way that tessa sold that that was good that was good concept of the banter but i didn't get family resemblance i mean this is cute but honestly we kind of get the same look from vanity we kind of want her to be elevated to something different i want something more from vanity especially this late in this competition um it is drag family resemblance that is very true um i do like the color scheme i like how playful they are i like how they work together i like the hair the makeup the concept of everything but the but i wish the look was more an elevated level for vanity especially at this point right now close to the end of the season um but yeah it was cute and gala looked amazing so that was good excellent she finally this got her win you guys absolutely imagine if they don't amazing. give it to her the feathers this would be the, the last episode i'm watching <laughs> why don't we start with you guys they absolutely love this as, as all of us did yeah incredible. you win you won y'all won y'all won i'll be like queen and so i'd say we were like the closest looking but they, they say that they say you look like family resemblance to just say it was a bit basic yeah which is shit yeah. because i didn't come here to be basic i came here to be oh i don't want to oh, cry baby. they say it's basic but beautiful they didn't say it's basic and ugly oh, well. look at Pathia. <laughs> oh I feel like this is how I'm feeling like right about that now with that comment queen. I feel like you know that you're not going to you should not win this because I don't know how it's going to go down. But I feel like you know that you should not win this compared to their look. You did have a good look and you know that Nelly's outfits are better. And you feel threatened by that because you want this win as you should but you shouldn't come for somebody else. Granted, we like all this shade. It is what it is, but I felt like it's it's now coming from a place of you being bothered that you weren't the best one. Lovely girl, this is so cute. You can feel how fake this is. I'm about to explode because this is too much bullshit. But you explode on the person that had the best ensemble. You should need you need to explode for the person right in front of you, which is Miss 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 Um Kitty. Say yeah, it is basic when she said that it's not. You should tell her how crappy that looks, and hopefully she does right now in this setting. This is stunning. You did such a good job. And I think this is your week finally. There you go. Ex thank you. Thank you, Miss Vanity. Thank you, because you know what they're talking about is crazy yeah, to me. I don't see the family resemblance, just being completely honest. I literally thought... It's a literally cut and paste in two different colors. How? How do you not see that? But That's ridiculous. I was, I was so gagged when they were like, <gasps> Wait, I didn't hear that. Wait, I gotta go back. Did she just say what I think she said? Yeah, no, but I don't see the family resemblance. Just being completely honest. I literally thought you guys were gonna be in the bottom. <gasps> I, was, I was so gagged when they were like, Oh, oh my, my god, god. Just talking about Are you f kidding me right now? She's delusional. She's f crazy. She must have not had no sleep. That's insane to me how she's saying that. I don't mean to be a bitch, but I was just like, am I looking at the same thing? No, you are. I'm staying a bitch about You are this. being a bitch. Oh my God. Because you, and even Alyssa knows that's crazy Gosh. for you to say that. This night for me, it was so good. I'm feeling great. Yes. Can... I'm just saying, family resemblance, it could be a sister, it could be a brother. That's just my opinion. If you yeah. win. Let me relax. Usa, Usa, Usa. Queen Khan, shut the f up. I, I, I can see your beard. Oh my God. I can't. I just can't, girl. 
And the thing that that annoys me the most is the fact that everyone's so quick when when Nelly's getting read upon, everyone's so quick to jump on the bandwagon and really jump on and just be a part of the joke, right? Or the cattiness and stuff, which is okay because you expect the cattiness. Just like now, you expect the cattiness. But for right now, everyone knows what Queen Kong is doing is bullshit. And they know that they're not going to go up against Queen Kong because of however feelings and and however connections they have with each other and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, if they wanted to make some good TV, they would have stuck up for Miss Nelly. No shade. They, they, they dropped the ball on that. They did. All the rest of the contestants up on there, they dropped the ball on that. And the only person that had some sense was Miss Vanity because she knows that she's going to stick up for what's right. Miss Vanity, shout outs to you. It's so nice to be back. <laughs> okay, really? That honestly, Loki really pissed me the fuck off, and I don't want. Let me relax. <laughs> Let me relax. Let me relax. I want to know how Queen Kong is gonna spin this on social media. I want to know how she is going to spin this on social media. I need for her to be like, you know what? I was saying that because I wanted to make it hot. Yes, was I wrong? Absolutely. Yes, did I know what I was doing because I wanted to be a mess and be messy and to be a total bitch. absolute. I need her to own that. I don't need her to be like, girl, I was totally right or girl. And no, and most importantly, I want all her sisters and all these influencers and all her kiki girlfriend sisters and stuff like that 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 are connected to her that even even actually have platforms to say, girl, Queen Kong, you're crazy. You're crazy, you're cra You're a crazy delusional bitch. You're crazy. I've made some decisions. Let me know, you guys. I'm sorry, I'm still fuming from that untucked. I'm fuming from that untucked. See, the thing about it is, I don't like when that happens when you want to read and kiki and cackle and everything else like that but when you're trying to do it deliberately to hurt somebody's feelings when you know that you're dead wrong then i feel like i had to speak up and don't let that have been me if i was melly oh baby baby there would have been a lot of loud singing and some flower bringing baby because hunty miss queen Kong would have got miss queen Kong. you would you would have Girl, you you know the right girls to choose. You know the right girls to choose, Miss Queen Kong. You know the right girls to choose. Let me know what you guys think. Who should have won this episode? Who should win this episode? And who should be in the bottom two? For me personally, Nelly should win this episode, hands down. Family resemblance, how fun they were have with how fun they were having on that stage and selling it. And they looked expensive. They looked amazing. So shout outs to you, Miss Nelly, um, and Pathia. And the bottom two, in my opinion, I'm going to have to say, um, I'm honestly, I'm just going to have to say Miss, um, Miss Kitty only because it was, we're at the end of the competition. It's literally that basic. You could have done so much better. I can pull this off of a rack in any department store in Shein, in freaking Fashion Nova, in, you know, any type of little boutique shops that you guys go to. I can pull that off of anywhere. You know, so I needed to be more elevated. It was that basic. And I'm not even trying to be rude, Kitty. Like, granted, I think you're a great queen and I think that you um that you that you do that you do good. It's just it's just your fashions are just not elevated. And that's okay. That's what money is for, <laughs> basically. But um I do think that she 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 should have deserves to be in the bottom two with the second person I think that should be in the bottom two with her is going to have to be sad to say because she just did not have the family resemblance at all, was Miss Tessa. That's just what it is. I mean, if 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 they're going to put Miss Vanity Vane in the bottom two to say that she didn't have family resemblance, but then again, they can say that Tessa had family resemblance, baby, honey, they're crazy. So I think that Tessa should be in the bottom two because it was a good concept. It was a good look. They looked great. But was it family resemblance? No, personally, that's what I think. On the runway, okay. we were over the moon. If she does not win this episode, I'm I, I'm sorry. I got to stop watching. I got to stop watching this season. I have to stop watching this season. I will not watch. I will not finish this season if she does not win this episode. I just will not. So Miss Rue and production and Miss Vicky over here.
congratulations. You're the winner of this week's challenge. <laughs> yes! Yes! I'm so happy for you. Oh, good, 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 good. They they did it. They did it. They did the right thing this episode. Ten thousand yes. dollars is mine. It is not. Yes, yours. it is. Bye. Yes. Absolutely, and I wish you would have said it to her face. It's not yours. It's mine. Kitty Scott Claus, your presentation was... I'm still not over it. I want to talk about it some more. <laughs> I want to talk, talk... I want to talk about that dirty, disgusting, nasty, trifling, ugly... Miss Motherfucking Queen Kong. Well, she, no, she's not ugly. She's actually very pretty. But that... Queen Kong. When I tell you, let me know down in the comments how you feel about her this season. Let me know how you feel about her right now at the end of the season. I need to know. Are you still living for her or do you not live for her? Have you never lived for her? I want to hear your guys opinion. I need to hear it right now because that dirty I don't like her and I never did. I'm just playing. I actually did like her for her season. No, actually, no. Did I really like her for her season? I, th I always thought she looked crazy and a fool doing those little turn things, flipping around in the air. Yeah, but at the end of the day, as the season went on, I just didn't start. I started not to care for her. And I know people will like her for whatever reasons. Girl, I, I just don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like that. I don't like that. And when I say I don't like her, I mean her on the show because we have to separate the person that's on the show versus reality. Let's just be real, okay? Let's just be real because they're still creating reality TV. So everyone, don't think that these people are for real like this in real life. This is what I'm saying. I don't like her on the show because what you displayed on the show, Miss Queen Kong, is a mess and you're a dirty bitch for doing it. But it's good for TV, but you're a dirty bitch for doing it. <laughs> You are Bottom. safe. <gasps> oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I was ready to wow. lip sync, but I survived. But wow. For them to think that was family resemblance more than Vanity or Miss Kitty is crazy. So much. I thought Tessa and Vanity were going to be in the bottom. Now Kitty's in the bottom. I don't get this. Like, this is a weird night. You're gonna say Kitty? You're gonna say Kitty should have been the bottom versus Tessa? Oh. The girls are just delusional. Are we, are we watching the same show? Are we really watching this? Maybe, maybe this is a different edit. Maybe this is. Are they, are they seeing what they're? Maybe does it look different in person? Do I need to know that? Queen Kong, does everything look different in person versus on the show, on this edit? Because I need to know what you're seeing visually and what we're seeing on the screen. Because what I'm seeing on the screen is that you didn't deserve to win and rightfully so, the right person actually did win. But, and then for you to think that Kitty should have been in the been safe versus Tessa, it's crazy to me. And save yourself from elimination. Oh, here we go. And I really hope they be fair. I really hope they be fair. And let's not base this off a track record, okay? I've always said this from, from the get-go. I've always said this. This is a lip sync for your life. Track record means nothing. Only if they are evenly lip synced, then you look at some other stuff of how they perform during this, this episode, who did better in this episode. And then you look at that. I'm going to give them a show, no matter you what. You shouldn't. Right. As you should, Miss Kitty. And don't. Because Miss Kitty can show up and show uh, out. Let's not be fooled. Oh, share. <laughs> yes, Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty should go the comedy route, for sure. Uh, okay, girl. She better bring the microphone. <laughs> Kitty, you're going to lean on comedy, which is good. Come on, Miss Vanity. That's right, girl. You better give it to us, girl. Miss Miss Kitty with the with the with the isms. That's cute. Okay, Miss Vanity. That was cute. Uh, Miss Kitty is selling it too, though. No shade. Oh. 
Girl, Miss Kitty, you okay, girl? I don't know if that was a good trick or not. I don't know if you executed that or not. I just feel like we, you did something different. <laughs> okay, they're both doing good. Uh, I, I like the isms that Kitty is doing, though. I'm not going to lie. Honestly, they're both doing really, really good. I can't complain. Kitty, did you just try to slam yourself on the ground like that? That was sloppy. Is she kicking off her shoes? I don't even think Rue never really liked that. I'm going to be honest. Kitty really almost had all, had that performance up until the end. And then she started to do it too much. But I don't think that, that was needed. And then it was sloppy at that. And then I felt like maybe those dips really didn't dip, didn't land on the correct timing. And I think... It, and then the sh kicking off the shoes and stuff like that. Like, girl, what? I don't under... I... Kitty, you didn't, you didn't need to do all that. You were winning the lip sync. I, for me personally, just for her doing that, I think that Miss Vanity should win. That's just what it is. Because I really was liking Miss Kitty's lip sync throughout majority of the performance. And then she just let it all go. That was crazy to me. Why does she do that? And I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm not even trying to be catty. I'm not even trying to be like, girl, they be, I'm not looking at the past episodes. I'm not, I'm not even thinking about the past. I'm thinking about right now and this lip sync for your life. I honestly think again, Kitty, you are killing it. The isms, the movements, the jokes, the campiness, the funny, the flirty, like all of that, whereas you were good, but then you wanted to do all that with the dips and then the kicking off the shoes and then and then the throwing you throwing yourself on on your back which i don't even know if that was a good move or not because we couldn't even see the full move all the way so they try to edit it like you was a good you did something but did you really do something like it was i don't know it was mm -mm. i think that vanity should stay let me know what you guys think down in the comments who who should have won that lip sync and be honest whether you guys agree with me or not i want to hear what you guys have to say i've made my decision kenny scott claus shante you stay <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah girl i figured she was gonna do that but it's unfortunate damn and i guess miss galavado is looking like well girl touche <laughs> no but you guys all jokes aside, everyone go support her, like her, follow her, and most importantly, book her all around the world. Okay, visionaries, that is the end of my reaction to episode number nine of Global All Stars. Let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comment section below, and your comment might be chosen in the next video. Keep it honest. Keep it very, very real. If you disagreed with what I had to say this episode, because I knew I was hype. I knew I was angry, and I, was, I wasn't even angry. I was just, I was just like bothered by certain comments and certain things that happened this episode and i knew i was kind of like on an emotional trip especially with dealing with stuff in my personal life so i'm really emotional right now but it's just it's heightened now because i'm like okay girl all of that what all of everything that went down this episode was like girl are you kidding but um but yeah i really want to know what you guys have to say um i might again i might do a dedicated video about this season so let me know what you guys think about this season and episodes specifically so um this is going to be very interesting and yeah i want to know if you guys thought the right queen won this episode the bottom two queens and um the queen that won the lip sync i really want to hear what you guys have to say about that and obviously please give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button that notification bell and share this video on all your social media platforms and if you guys want to watch this full reaction head over to my patreon the diamond tier to unlock all of my videos and make sure you guys get ready for my reactions to drag race thailand season three um as of now i am reacting to the newest um season of drag race uk season six so, so that's out right now on my youtube and of course like always visionaries life is your vision it is whatever you make it as long as you make it freaking fabulous until the next one bye